getting a good deal on PC parts is always a welcome thing. But what about a deal that seems too good to be true? What is going on guys? I am AJ and today we're going to be covering three PC parts you shouldn't cheap out on. So stick around and let's discuss this. Number one, your motherboard. Being the central hub that all of your other components are connected to means its importance obviously cannot be understated. Now, while you don't necessarily have to buy the most expensive board on the market, understand that you do essentially get what you pay for. Motherboards on the cheaper side tend to have less features, such as fewer PCIe lanes, fan headers, and a less robust BIOS. While higher end motherboards tend to have reinforced PCIe slots, better VRMs, and higher quality capacitors, the cheaper ones may omit some or all of these options to keep the cost down. Now, while there's nothing inherently wrong with this, as lower end hardware is targeted towards those on a budget, do keep this in mind when planning out your build. Number 2. Storage Having high quality storage options is crucial in maintaining the integrity of your data. The average lifespan when it comes to most SSDs, for example, is rated around 5 years or more depending on usage. While getting a cheap, generic SSD may not necessarily be a bad idea if you plan on using one either temporarily or strictly as a boot drive, if you plan on using one exclusively, I highly suggest spending the few extra bucks to get one from a reputable brand. Sure, you might save some cash opting to purchase this cheap one over this more expensive SSD as your main drive, but it may cost you in the long run with its shorter lifespan, higher rate of failure, and most of all, shorter warranty. The same can be said for hard drives, which have a lifespan of 3-5 to five years, or more depending on usage. Mechanical drives are more susceptible to wear and tear given their moving parts. Spending a bit more to get a higher quality drive that can be put to its paces without failing prematurely is worth it in my opinion. Now, what about the used market? Sure, getting used storage secondhand might seem like a good idea, but do keep the life cycles of these items in mind if you're considering it. After all, dealing with data loss due to a failed drive will either result in expensive data recovery options or an even more expensive therapy session for all the stress and anxiety. Number 3. Your power supply. When it comes to PSUs, I generally like to follow two rules. Rule number one, don't buy a generic PSU. Rule number two, don't buy a generic PSU. Seriously. Your PSU is responsible for drawing in and distributing electrical power throughout your entire system. Having a PSU that can handle this process properly is a good way to not kill your system and yourself. A good quality PSU will have well-designed capacitors, transistors, and control units. Some of the cheapest alternatives may skimp out on the quality of these integral parts which may not only reduce its longevity, but may also affect its efficiency. In general, the lifespan of a good PSU is generally around 5-10 to 10 years, depending on usage. If, for example, you're building a new rig and have some components in your old one that you'd like to reuse, that's certainly a good way to save a couple bucks. But do keep these numbers in mind, as reusing an aging PSU long term may not yield the best results especially if you plan on using more power-hungry parts compared to your old setup. Feel free to let me know what other parts you shouldn't cheap out on in the comments. And if you want to hear me ramble on about PC-related content, then mosey on over to this video right here.